guys, Blue Yoshi here, and I'm back with Mario today. I know I already did a remake of Mario's episode, but after the third tournament, uh, I decided that I'm gonna have to redo some of these characters. And Mario is the first one on my list to fix, so yeah. So I unlocked all of Mario's custom moves just for you guys so I can show you guys um, all his possibilities, so you guys better be proud of me. <laughs> Also, um, here, Mario's guide is on my website, so, um, it's in the description if you want to read it anytime I have it there, but, yeah, so now let's get on to Mario. So, Mario is probably, like, the best character for any char for any person that's new to Smash Bros. to learn, because he's just, like, really, really easy, but he's also one of the best characters in the game. Um... So, yeah. So, first I'll go over his pros and cons, and then I'll go over the moveset, and then I'll give a basic summary. Okay? Let's go. <laughs> so, first of all, um, as I said, really easy for beginners to learn. Um, he's pretty average. I mean, like, he's Mario. What do you expect? Like, crazy fast follow, like Fox? Yeah, no. Um... Yeah, another one of his promos is Great Aerial, Aerial, Aerial Mobility, <laughs> sorry. He can just, like, go all over the place. But, yeah. He has above average uh, run speed, which is very useful. He has a good dash grab, which is very important in Super Smash Bros. Um... He has a lot of utility with his cape, his flood, and overall he's just like really, really strong. And then finally, well not finally, <laughs> next we have his cons. There's like only like one con really about him is that he doesn't have range. Like if you see characters like Shulk, uh, they have massive range. Mario does not have that. Uh, you can see his down tilt, side tilt, up tilt. Yeah, that does not provide much range. In fact, his jab goes farther than that. So, yeah. Not much range. Bye. Uh, anyways. So next, on to the moveset analysis. So first of all, we have jab. Jab is a very interesting move. So, uh, first of all, it's like a get away from me tool. Let's see if this guy can actually, like, get away from the edge so that I don't kill him. Okay, fine. It's like, get away from me. Also, as like, one of his best ranges, I guess. But, there's also things, so you can jab one, and then you can grab. So, let's see if I can do it. Yeah, man, when I'm doing these videos, I get, like, way too... Yeah, there we go. So, Mario can do jab one into grab by doing the jab and then uh, pushing down immediately and, and then grab. Okay, don't ask me what's going on. There we go. But, yeah. <laughs> so, and then force tilts. Side tilts. Honestly, you never really should find yourself using side tilts. Jab is basically a better move than it does 1% more. And it goes farther. So, yeah. No reason for side tilt to even be a thing. <laughs> Up tilt, you're going to use that for most of your combos. Let's see if I'm going to go reset them. Um... But yeah, especially at lower percents, uh, up tilt is very strong. And then, next we have is down tilt. Down tilt is pretty interesting, because it really depends at what uh, percent they're at. So lower percent you can go on, oops, lower percent you can go into a up tilt. Or go into a grab like that. So basically, it's like a depth, it's like a grab. 
at the upper sense and at I upper sense, sometimes very rarely it can go into a meal. But yeah. And then for smash attacks, forward smash is basically very, very strong, small range. Although it has been buffed in range from the last game, but yeah. It's still not like best kill option. And your best your best smash attack is your up smash. There's like no question about it. It's just the best one that he has. Uh, first of all, it gives you like super armor. And, well, pretty much you're invincible during the whole thing. It gets a lot of range. And if someone shields, it'll make them go like super far. So it's really hard to punish. And then for his down smash, you should only find this when you're covering ledge options. So unless they're like gonna jump off ledge, uh, down smash can cover both of their options. But that's pretty much it. By the way, his back part of his uh, little breakdance kick is stronger than the forward. So that's the front. So now I'll do the back. So that did 12, the other one did 10. So yeah. So now for his aerials. So neutral ale. Neutral Hero is really interesting because it can break combos, and yeah, so besides one other move, this is like his one combo breaker, so it's really good. Um, aside from that, his forward ale, this is basically the uh, medial, although it can kill at like higher percents, but really it's just your medial move. Uh, you should never use it for approaching because it just lags so much. And then your back ale, this is like best spacing option ever, because you can short up into back ale and they won't be able to get close to you. So yeah, there's that. Your up ale, this is basically gonna be part of your combos, which I'm gonna show you pretty soon. Um, yeah, juggling. And then down ale is very interesting. Um, at low percents, you can like grab, um, maybe not, but you can like short hop into it and get some good percent there. Racks up a ton of damage, it's just like Yoshi's uh, down ale, but yeah. And then next, uh, we have the glass. So, forward throw, never use this, never kills, doesn't do anything. Only time I would ever say to use it would be at higher percents. Let's see if I can get him up there. Uh, which can lead into a meteor if you're really lucky. But aside from that, never really use your foot though. <laughs> yeah, see that didn't work. <laughs> but anyways, and then his back foe, this is basically one of your, this is basically your kill foe. Um, so Mario's really cool because he has a kill foe, which not many people have. But yeah, well actually lots of people have it, but it's especially good for newcomers. And then, and then for his uh, up foe, you never really use this unless you're like 2v1 comboing, but not, you like really never use it. And then finally, there's the down throw, which is the best throw in all of Mario history, or Smash history, or I don't even know. <laughs> um, it's, well, maybe not the best, but it's a great combo tool, so at lower percents, there's a bunch of stuff you can do. But, uh, this is the two that I find really the best. So you can go into an up ale, and sometimes into a down ale after that, but yeah. And then there's the other one, which I think is much better. Well, ah, oh, oops. What am I doing? <laughs> I'm gonna go into the up smash. And then depending on where they di, uh, you can use a move. So that guy just went to the left, so I use a back ale. If they go to the light, you can like use your neutral ale, or you could even turn around and use your back ale. Um, but yeah, so that's low percent combos. 
there's a lot of things you can do at low percent, but those are all like the big things. The mid percents are like 50 to like 90. These are the combos that you can perform, so. First of all, you can go into up special if you're using the first one. And then if you're using, and then if you're not, you, ah, man. See, this is why I don't like him when he's on the edge, because then I can't do my combos. <laughs> there we go. But this one is slightly harder to perform, but you need to short hop over to them. So let's see if I can do this heal. Yes. Uh, but you can just cut. You, ju you can just, like, continue that combo, but, yeah. And then, finally, we have high percent, so that'd be, like, 100 and up. These, now, um, at, like, 110, your up special stops working. So, yeah, don't use your up special at those high percents. But, um, you can still do your up IO thing, if I can even see what, what I'm doing. Sorry, the camera's in the way. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> this is... What is wrong with me? <sighs> there we go. Yeah, you can go into the up A O. Even sometimes into the up special, but yeah. And then, if you're by the ledge, there's a combo that you can perform that pretty much takes away their stock. I'm of course talking about his Meteor. Of course, this only works by the ledge, but it's a really strong kill option if you're looking for one. But, uh, yeah, so those are his down throw combos, as I already said, back throw kills. And now we just have his special moves. So, yeah. His neutral special is Fireball. There are three versions of this. Uh, the first version is... Yeah. Now, this is really good because it makes him flinch, which can let you go into a grab. Let's see if I can do that. Oh, uh, why am I doing that? Oh my gosh. <laughs> but, um, yeah. And then, uh, his side special, his normal spe side special, makes him turn around and also, um, does 7 damage and deflects projectiles. So, yeah. And then for his first up special, I don't have to uh, tell you what this is. His up is super jump punch. I already go over the combos that you can perform with it, but yeah. And then finally his down special, um, his flood. I think the third version of this is much better, but you know, uh, the first version does work, but it's not as great, so. Yeah, that's what it does, it pushes them backwards. Anyways, I'm gonna go quit out of this, and I'm gonna go get, and I'm gonna go get his other cushions quickly. So I'm gonna go to him. I'm gonna go to two, 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 two. Micah, and yes, I did cover his up special. Okay, so now his second option for his fireball. Is fast fireball. This is pretty much a better version of this fireball, um, in my opinion. It's either the first one or the fast fireball. But um, yeah, it doesn't guarantee a grab, but it goes straight, and it's just faster. So I think it's a better one overall. And then for side special, this is the one that you should never use: shocking cape. At first, I thought Shocking Cape was a dream come true, but now it's not. <laughs> first of all, it's much slower than the other ones, so if you want to, so if you want to even like get what get the projectiles to die, because that's what it does instead of put, makes them go backwards. Um, it's much harder because it's slower. 
So yeah, it's not as effective in that. And I totally flipped when I learned this. It doesn't even give you um, the aerial height that the other two give you, so it's just bad. <laughs> um, so yeah, it also does damage, but really, you have better ways of doing damage. And then his second up special, pretty much every Kyoto has this. Uh, the up special that doesn't do any damage. I might as well get this over with. Those are just bad. Never use them. Unless it's like someone that does not recover at all. Like Little Mac. Or something. But overall, Mario's up, uh, second up special is complete trash. Because you already have enough ways to get back onto the stage. So yeah. Also, it gets rid of, like, half of your combos. So, yeah, don't use your super jump pun. Well, I mean, your super jump. And then his and then his second uh, down special is called Scalding Flood. Basically, aside from Fireball, or Fast Fireball, all the second down, all the second specials are bad. Because <laughs> this one does damage, and it doesn't even kill. And, yeah, why waste it? And it just gets rid of, like, half of your utility. Especially if you're using the Shocking Cape. But, um, yeah, so don't use your seconds unless you're going to be using Fast Fireball. Because they're all just bad. <laughs> and finally, his third options, which I think are better than his first options. I'm gonna go. Uh, besides the file, which is his Nutra special. So it really depends on how you look at this. Fire orb can be good or can be bad. It really depends on who you're playing. Um, but yeah. Basically, what it does is it takes forever to do it. But it basically guarantees a glab. So it's like Ness's thing, but like slowed down two times. And it doesn't go as far. So it really depends on how you're doing this. As you just saw, that's his third up special. But now for his third side special, this is basically a direct upgrade that for his new first one. Unless they're like using like. Unless they're like Shulk and they have like stupid range, but uh, yeah, what it does is it makes them go like like halfway across the stage. Oh, oops. And it deflects projectiles and it gives you a gigantic help with recovery. So yeah, Gush Cape. Use it. <laughs> and then for up special, this is Explosive Punch. Explosive Punch is really interesting because it really depends on how you like to play Mario. If you like to play Mario, like, ground game, then um, Explosive Punch is for you. If you really like those long combos that I showed you earlier, Explosive Punch is not going to be your best friend. But it is another way if you want to uh, kill or take out people. So it's it's a it's a really interesting move. It just comes down to preference. And then finally, there's his down special. Um, his down special for his third one is basically a, a direct upgrade to his first one, except for um, it takes longer to do. But really, you're really just gonna be doing it in between uh, KOs and it works. So yeah. Um, it just shoots follow, and if someone's in free fall, then you can just use that and they won't do anything about it. So yeah. Those are Mario's custom moves, and now I'm just gonna give a summary. So Mario is a very interesting character. He is very good for beginners, and he's very good for veterans. He is all around, like, basic, I guess. 
you Mario is a good uh, pick against characters like against characters that need to get up close because he has two combo breakers with his neutral neutral ale and his up special if you're using the first one and he just has lots of things up close so yeah he also excels in the ale with his up ale down ale back ale he just has lots of ale options and um yeah, his ground game isn't bad either. So overall, Mario is a very balanced character. If you're looking for a character to start your Smash career, Mario is probably the best character to start with. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching. Next time, I'll be doing Luigi. And see you guys then.